You're watching Teachers TV. What do you think when you look at me? Am I a troublemaker? Am I violent? Should your children stay away from me? If you make these judgments without knowing me, how can you teach your pupils to not be prejudiced? We decided to bring Scary Guy in because as a Catholic school, we're really interested in developing good personal relationships. And uh, he, in a different way, looks at personal relationships and fostering the idea of loving your neighbor. This girl here, she only lived to about 14 years old. She was told she was dumb, fat, and stupid her whole life by all of her so-called friends at school. She believed all the words she heard. Then she killed herself. This is the world you're living in right now. The elimination of hate, violence, and prejudice worldwide. Give me a break. One guy can't do this job by himself. I'm in your school because I need everybody in this room's help. I'm going to dedicate this period of time to all the kids around the world that have died in school. Now you people are killing each other over your differences. The first show that we present in the school is our prejudice elimination. And this 90 minute program and it's about awareness. And what we have, try to do is we bring everybody to the same level of awareness as to how we all participate in what I call the world's number one social diseases, hate, violence, and prejudice. I became a professional name caller and hater at a very young age. I'm a pro. I got 49 years of running my mouth, belittling, degrading, humiliating, shaming. Oh, I can find the fault in you in two seconds flat. You people haven't even got a clue. Why is it important to work with children? Because there is so much damaged, hurtful, harmful words and nonverbal communication going on in schools around the world. And it's being transferred at an alarming rate. And kids are killing themselves and hurting each other over this kind of energy that exists in schools right now. <laughs> What's your name, dude? Sam. Sam. Sam I am. <laughs> My name's Scary Sam. We're going to role play. Do you know what role playing is? Yep. What is it? Um, when you play a role. <laughs> play with roles. <laughs> no, Sam. Now, when I was a young person, I'd see somebody go by, didn't know their name, never saw them before, didn't know who they were. Now, people in wheelchairs, you know the ones I'm talking about, they got their hand on the lever on the handle, guy in a wheelchair on by, a little bit of dribble running out of their mouth, I'd see them roll on by, and I'd go like this. Ooh. <laughs> Who'd want to be by that? In order to make myself feel better on the inside and squash that emotion down, I had to point at that poor soul in the wheelchair I knew nothing about. Give him a name so I could laugh at him. It wouldn't end there. I'd take the information back to my buddy Sam, chillin', kicking it. And I'd go like this, Sam, check out that geek in the wheelchair, dude. <laughs> It wasn't in there. I take that information back to school, my neighborhood, my church. I gather all my buddies around in a circle. I started sharing information about a dude in a wheelchair I knew nothing about. I started a geek haters club. Man, I got real good at it. I know there are no bad kids. Of course, everybody goes, whoa, that guy's lost his mind. I do believe that there is bad behavior, and it's learned. Kids learn this behavior somewhere else, and it's reinforced in school. So now if that's the truth, there are no bad kids and there is bad behavior, hmm, I wonder where they're learning that. Slide in there together, that's it. 
Mm. There is something morally and ethically wrong with this. Well, let me ask you a question, Stuart. How old are you, dude? Forty. How old are you? Sixteen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there's something in your drinking water. <laughs> now, here's what I discovered as I travel around the world. You see the short dude here? Stuart. He's got a body this size. I call it a container. Yeah. The tall dude's got a little bigger container. We all have our own containers. They come in different shapes, sizes, and colors. Ladies and gentlemen, they're supposed to. Now, here's what I found out as I travel around the world about all these different containers. It don't matter what shape, size, or color it is. It has the same amount of capacity to understand and love all people. So if you're making a decision based on the shape and size of the container right here, I got news for you. You will be wrong. Every word and every step I take is to help another human off this planet with love. I cannot fathom what it would be like to leave this planet degrading and humiliating another human. For seven years, I haven't said one negative word about another human on the planet. For seven years, I haven't called another person a name other than their own. <laughs> and do you have any idea how hard that is? Well, you're going to get a sample of it right now. Part of the mission in the program is the seven day, seven night challenge. And so I put all the kids and the teachers and the parents and who's ever involved in the program, I put them all on the seven day, seven night challenge. And it works like this. For seven days and seven nights, don't say one negative word about another human on the planet. For seven days and seven nights, don't call another person a name other than their own. Even if you think the names you make up for people are funny, they're not. Now we're going to find out what you're really made of. If you think you're tough, shut your mouth. That's tough. I chose seven days and seven nights because I think it's a, it's a doable target. It's something that you can actually see that there is an end to a process. Really, it's not about being a good person. I don't want the kids to say, hey, I got to be good now, and they really don't. They say, hmm, I'm starting to discover how I'm interacting with everybody else's words as energy. And they do quite well, actually. And I teach them a way out. So if they slip up and make a mistake, they have a way out of that. They simply look that person directly in the eyes. Maybe they call them a name accidentally, or they slip up, or they forget they're on the challenge. And they just say, hey, I'm sorry I said that. You get on with your program. You got seven days to go. You're watching Teachers TV.